when we blame other people like we're putting all of that we're projecting that into them stop blaming our parents our family certain circumstances like the systems always want us to fail <laughs> welcome to my channel thank you for clicking this video before we get started we are going to save this space you already know to anybody who's been absorbing your energy taking it from you giving you bad vibes we're going to cleanse all that all right here all right we're going to take a moment to cleanse the space this smells so good. This is frankincense. Incense sticks. And I'm going to set this right here. While we hash it out. So this is a speech for people who want to change, who want to do better, who wants to be more productive and who wants to change the direction of their life as far as like you're just working a nine to five and you're not really doing anything outside of that um this video is also for people who are like just starting to get that fire again like just starting to dab into your purpose like what you want to do this video is for you too um, because I'm just going to talk about my experience and like how I have got here to be like really productive. So it's been a long freaking journey, but like we are in the fire right now, right? Like it's about to be 2022 and we're just, we like, we're just bringing all this work ethic right on to 2022. So basically let's just get into it. Um, I basically want to say like, we need to stop blaming our parents like stop blaming our parents our family certain circumstances like have to stop blaming people and take a look in the mirror okay because when we blame other people like we're putting all of that we're projecting that into them we're projecting our success in our life onto another person and that's not right because we have our own journey and we have our own path and it's up to us to dictate which way we're going to go and where we're going to go. Like, so it's up to us. Like, when we get up, we look in the mirror, it's only you there, right? And it's like, if you want to break old generational curses, like, you're going to have to step up to the plate. If you want to be the first millionaire in your family, then you're going to have to step up to the plate, like blaming the other person ain't gonna do you no good right if you want to live your best life right do everything that you want to do like travel you know buy big houses like all these you know whatever it is that you want to do right you have to work hard you have to change your mindset and you have to work hard okay and you know and i feel like you know, the way I feel about when people blame their families and stuff like that, like, yeah, it sucks. It sucks that, you know, we're like our parents or our families, like they weren't, they weren't taught, you know, they didn't have the knowledge of what we do, like what we have today. They didn't have access to the knowledge. They didn't have that opportunity to, to, to like chase after wealth. And I'm not like they could there are certain some circumstances that I'm sure like they knew like you know little things here and there like if they came up to some money like to like to invest it or something like that but you know people we see instant gratification versus the long road of what um, an investment can do. So it's like, we want to get the fast, fastest result instead of waiting, let it marinate so we can meet the maximum potential of what that money could have done. 
say if our parents bought stocks, if they knew about stocks and they or if they kept it in there and they weren't worried about taking it out for that instant gratification, imagine, imagine where your family would be at right now. Say like when Amazon first came out, your parent or I don't know, maybe I don't know, I don't know, I don't know time wise, but let's just say Apple or a, a car, or whatever. Like say they bought that stock, and then now fast forward, it's like boom, like it's popular as ever. And imagine if they had it, and all that money, like instant millionaire, instant millionaire. You know, <laughs> and it sucks. You know, I think the one, honestly, the only thing that I hate that really sucks is that, you know, it sucks to not have had that time to be creative. You know, I feel like the last couple years only is where I've been the most creative, where I've been thinking outside the box and really following my passion, really following what makes me happy. And it's just crazy because it took a long time for me to actually think and actually act on chasing my passions. And it's just like mind blowing to me. Like, you know, we get caught up in ourselves. We get caught up in other people. We get caught up in our jobs. And it's like time moves by very fast. Like time moves by so fast. It does not stop for nobody, for nothing. And when when you wake up and you realize like yo like you need to actually get up and do something because like uh hello you're getting older you're not getting younger <laughs> right and it's just like crazy i also want to say like we can't blame our like family and our parents because you know especially if they're minorities like the systems always want us to fail like i'm sorry but that's just what it is the system does not want us to succeed they don't want us to have the knowledge you know and these systems that our so-called older generations like really faithfully believe in was never really there for them like they were never trying to get them out of you know lower class like they were never trying to get them out of uh what do you want to call it um government benefits like they want you to stay like that they want you to stay there depending on them they want you to stay um working that job you know because you know when you're on government benefits you cannot make over a certain amount of money or they will take it and like when your mindset is not thinking right it's like you know you're gonna want to stay in that so that you can receive the benefits instead of elevating yourself. Because if you're up here, who the heck cares about those government um, benefits when you ain't never going to need that again? Like, when you're up here, you get what I mean? Like, <sighs> but I'm not, like, I don't know. Some of these mindsets and people, like, just blows my mind. Like, I'm so, like, I'll be snapping. But it just, like, irks my nerves when... People are faithfully in with the system. Like, they faithfully believe in the system. Like, that blows my mind. Or, like, they know the system is bull, but they still believe, like, they still follow through with it. Like, what? Make it make sense. <laughs> make it make sense. Uh, but anyways, off topic a little bit. But I want to say what started my fire is, like, like, I'm tired. Like, I was, I'm tired of going to work. Like, I don't know about y'all, but I am tired of going to work. Like, I've been tired. Like, I've said this before in the past. Like, I cannot keep a job for more than two years because I lose interest. I become unmotivated. Like, then I'm like mentally drained because, like, the job is tiring. Because, you know, you're depending on PTO, which, is it really worth it? No. When you work for yourself and you're making your own good money, you're not going to need PTO. Okay? Like, the PTO of the system is a joke. Like, what? Like, I can't take a month off of work? Like, 
I can barely take three weeks off work. Like what? Like what? No. So like my time is being controlled. My day is being controlled. My pay, my income is being controlled. Like, no, like, heck, you know, like, your energy is being taken from you. Because no matter how good you are on not letting people get to you, or, you know, being able to relax, like, you know, being able to bring yourself back at the end of the day you have still lost some energy energy that you could have put into your passion and your goals that's going to be a whole lot more worthwhile when it pays off like you get what i mean and i feel like when you get older and you know you worked <laughs> for a while you're gonna reach a point where you're like yo like you can't be doing this your whole life. Like, this is not it. Never was. You know, I could never, I can never, like, for, from when I first started my first job, like, I could never stay at a job for two years. Like, I just couldn't. It was like, something just didn't feel right. And, like, I just had to get out. Like, my mind was just saying, get out, get out. Like, and I would just find the next thing that I would think that would, you know, I would be of interest. And it's like... It never is going to be satisfying because my soul and my spirit is not 100% in it. Okay, so when I'm doing what I love and I'm, and I'm doing, you know, acting on my purpose, it fuels me. It feeds my spirit. It feeds my soul. Like, you get what I mean, right? Like, that's a whole other type of fire, Okay, and I feel like the only hard part when you're executing, you know, your purpose and you're following those steps is your mindset, right? Is your your wellness, your mental wellness, like, you know, because things are going to happen and, you know, you're going to feel isolated because when you actually step up to the plate and you start um, executing these goals, you're going to realize, like, people are not elevating the way that you are. People are not, they're not goal oriented the way that you are. And you're gonna realize right away because when you're managing your time, you're acting on these goals and you are, and you are focusing on you and how to grow and how to build. So you have a lot of things to do. It's a one man show, right? Um, you're gonna realize like it takes a toll and you have to surround yourself with like-minded um, individuals. Like, you have to. I'm sorry, but, like, I don't know who was able to do it by themselves, but you need people on your team. You really need people. And it took me a long time to realize that, but you really need people on your team because, one, you know, it keeps inspiration going. It keeps the fire lit. And it really, like, helps to be around that like-minded energy okay like people shouldn't be taking your energy um they should be either maintaining your energy or um giving you some energy like all uh, it's all love type of thing like we all want to succeed right like there's money in the pot for everybody so there's no <laughs> there's no reason we all can't come up together if we're all um you know putting in that worth ethic right like come on now that's all i really had to say guys um if you like this video give me a thumbs up if you feel like I missed something, please let me know. I probably could have missed something. Um, if there's anything that you want to see in the next video, please let me know. And as always, stay beautiful, gorgeous souls. And I'll see you in the next video. Bye.